Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dr. C4 Knowledge. Today I will listen about serverless spinal fluids. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support me posting more videos about medicine. Serverless spinal fluids is a clear water ultrafiltrate solution formed primary from blood in choroid plexus of the brain. Basic mechanism of serverless spinal fluid is involved in active transport system, first, second, and passive division. It passes from fourth ventricles of brain to sub arachnoid space. It helps in exchange the waste and nutrients between blood and neurons. It's generally similar to blood in pl to blood plasma. It consists of water, small amount of protein, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and its solution it has sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and chloride ions. It also has glucose, white blood cells, and other organic materials. All of them is found in the cerebral spinal fluids. Cerebral spinal fluid clinical application. There has two ways to take samples to analyze the cerebral spinal fluid by cisternal puncture or, or lumbar puncture. The cisternal puncture is a diagnostic procedure that can be performed in order to collect a sample of cerebral spinal fluids for biochemical, microbiological, and cytological analysis. Where we can take the cisternal puncture from the occipital bone and first cervical vertebra atlas, entering needle, excuse me, entering needle and cerebral medullaris and with the dromic spinal fluids. The second one is called lumbar puncture. In certain neurological disorder, the fluid can be removed from for analysis in the subarachnoid space in the third and fourth lumbar vertebra. They have epidural space. Uh, very thick and they will not damage the spinal cord. The patient lined coral and insert a needle. We do it in this region to avoid injury of spinal cord because it's very thick. Is the position. This is one cisternal puncture. Here the occipital bone. Here the ventricles. Here the cerebellum bones. Here the medulla from this one inserting the needle first cervical vertebra atlas and the occipital bone entering to with the drawing the cerebral spinal fluid in lumbar puncture here the patient lie curled, curled and they will take it from the third fourth lumbar vertebra taking the sample for, for analyzing the cerebral spinal fluid this order can be found by analyzing cerebral spinal fluid. Increasing in white blood cells mean occurs acute bacterial meningitis, which bacteria affect the meningitis of the spinal cord or of the brain. As mutate increase may indicate presence of viral infection or cerebral tissue damage. The protein gamma globulin, it is found it, quantity increase, found it uh, increase in the cerebral spinal fluid. In multiple sclerosis, sclerosis, glucose level are reduced means bacterial infection. The glucose decreased or reduced means bacterial infection. If increasing the white blood cells mean bacterial meningitis or viral infection. Red blood cells indicated means blood enters the subarachnoid space. Space. This indicates in the spinal tap, which is the second name of the lumbar puncture, spinal tap, the cisternal puncture called the suboccipital puncture. The increase in intracranial pressure may be a result of brain tumor. The increase of intracranial pressure may be a result of brain tumor which that obstruct the normal circulation of the cerebral spinal fluids. Never a tap to the spinal tap when the brain tumor is suspected. When removing the cerebral spinal fluids cause drop in the fluid pressure below the tumor, the resulting high pressure above can force the medulla oblongata of brain into the forearm magnum, forces them to go to the forearm magnum that compressing the medulla and killing the patient. With suspected the tumor of brain, we shouldn't take our weather drawing the cerebral spinal fluids samples. Here we can see the location of the tumors in the, in the brain. This one is therefore arm magnum that compressing the medulla oblongata. 
okay when you pressing when you taking the cerebral spinal fluid and it has tumor in this location or for arm for arm magnum this will compress them and will kill the patients so before you whether dropping any samples of cerebral spinal fluid you should take some analyzing for the patient if it has tumor in his brain or not thank you for watching